Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I'm a senior applications engineer with Expo. So today I want to introduce you to our Max OTDR solution. And this is our Max platform right here. This, as you can see, is a seven inch tablet inspired design. Uh, back here is the OTDR module, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, because this is a, uh, a Windows based application. And so stuff like Internet Explorer and whatnot are also a standard feature on these. So we'll go ahead and um, show the GUI and some of the different options and features that are on the platform itself. One of the great features of the Max Tester OTDR platform is the one second boot time. So as you can see on the seven inch screen, over on the top left, we have the OTDR and the IOLM option. And so that is the test applications that run the hardware that we have configured on this particular platform. Because of the, uh, the high resolution color screen, we're able to also uh, use a fiber inspection probe as an option plugged into the USB port. And so that's what we have there with Connector Max 2. We also have an optional power meter VFL on this unit as well. And so that's what we have here. So you're able to verify power levels and uh, use the visual fault locator to visually identify fibers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and launch the OTDR module. So we'll select on the icon and it just takes a few seconds. And so now here we are now in the main OTDR screen here. And so we're on the OTDR tab. We can start stepping through the GUI and setting up the configuration. Um, we have different tabs on the top. You have the source that allows you to turn the source on and off. So this unit can be used as a continuous source or you can modulate the signal. So over there on the bottom left, we have 1310, 1550, and 1625 as the options that are on this particular module. Uh, just to the right of that, we have the, the three knobs where you can set your range, pulse width, and duration. And so we'll get into a little bit of that when we set up the unit itself. So from here, we'll look at the identification tab. So I'll go ahead and hit identification, and this is where you can save the name of the trace. So you'll see where you can input your job ID, company name, customer. So all of these fields are very important because when you generate a report um, or save a file, all of this information will be included in the header and in the file name. So you'll see right now, the file name is gonna be fiber1.trc. You have the ability to add or remove some of these different identifiers to include in the file name. And so in this case here, we'll leave it right where it's at. Just below the real-time option here is where we can set our extended acquisition parameters. If you're using a launch or receive cable, this is where you'll adjust it. So you'll see that you can adjust your receive cable by fiber length or by event. In this case, I'm going to be using a launch cable for the example I'm going to test. Uh, it's a 150 meter launch cable, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for a 150 meter jumper. So let me go ahead and do that. So now that I've cleaned and connected my fiber, I'm going to go ahead and perform a test. And so for this particular unit, I'm just going to do a quick auto test. I have it set for a five second duration using two wavelengths, 13, 10, and 15, 50. So I'm going to go ahead and select auto and then hit start. And so what's going to happen is the OTDR is going to run an acquisition at 13, 10, and then 15, 50, five seconds each, and then display the results. And so once that's done, we'll go to the event table and then analyze the results. So I'll go ahead and select the event table and then look at it. And so I will select the end event. And so right now we are testing 161 meters. And so the reason why uh, I have about 300 meters of fiber up here, but 150 meters, remember that during the setting, I nulled out. So there in the middle, we have this connector. So I have a connector here right in the middle of the fiber. And this one has 0 0.3 dB of loss and no detectable reflection. But this is an APC connector. So we expect it to have good reflection if if it's clean and connected properly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply a macro band onto the fiber and I'm gonna retest it. I'm gonna go ahead and retest the fiber and then we'll compare the results from the previous setting. And so you can see right now at 1310 that we have a little bit of a dip right there in the middle of the span and that's that pinch here. And then it'll switch over to 1550 and then acquire the signal. So now it's shooting at 1550, and you can see that extreme drop that we have here. That's what a macro bend looks like. So the longer the wavelength, the more issues you're going to have with fiber management. And so when we analyze the results now, at 1310, you can see that we have at that location 0.88 dB of loss. If I go to 1550, we have 6.5 dB of loss. So the longer the wavelength, the more issues you're going to have with pinching in the fiber, and that's what the OTDR just told us. And if I click on the summary screen here, we can have all the information there, the span length, the pass-fail statuses uh, that we set up earlier. It's all available for you right here. 
At this point, you would save the test and generate a PDF report and go on to the next fiber. And that concludes our introduction into the Max Tester OTDR from Expo. Thank you very much.